It burned when I urinated. He's a mutist camp con man who ran off with half a million dollars. When you think of all the things your eyes have to do. I'm Chris Walters. Would you like to hear some news? Utah residents held protests today over White House plans to convert their state into a deadly robotic minefield. The president responded by issuing a statement that the pleasure domes of Nevada must be protected from the beer lords of Colorado at all costs. Lonely? Enter the day tricks. Hi, my name is Ellen, but my friends call me LSD test subject B34-C. I like colors and applesauce and long walks on the beach. The sand is soft and cushions my head if I fly into convulsions. I don't like crowded places or any device that restricts head movement. Oh, and hearing certain phrases gives me an incredible urge to kill Castro. Call me. As regular viewers will know, after Tuesday's medication is when I like to paint. <laughs> so I thought today we would uh, work on the grass a little bit more. Maybe a happy little bush right here. <laughs> Now, if any of you at home want to join in, just pick up a brush and let yourself go. <laughs> now, it doesn't really matter if you're on Ritalin or Zoloft or Thorazine. The important thing here is just to keep it loose and free. Now, you just want a nice, free, relaxed motion with the hand as we add a little grass there. Yeah. Nice. And while you're painting, I'll just try to stay focused on on freedom. Okay, maybe some mountains. So I am going to take out my uh, plastic paint knife and some Prussian blue. All right, I'm going to add some. Nice snow-covered mountains, free of any little caves where communists or union organizers could hide. <laughs> Might want to deploy a little sarin gas, just to be sure. <laughs> now, there are uh, several different ways to make evergreens. I like to start by tapping the brush on the canvas. And then while I work, I'd like to tell a little story about that tree. Yeah, maybe it's a tree in a forest in Upper Mongolia. You can almost imagine you can see them. You know, a platoon of fresh-faced young military contractors. <laughs> and maybe they were sent there by Mattel to deal with a, an illegal bootleg toy factory. Hmm? Promised their own float in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade if they return home successful. Oh, isn't that nice? Hmm? Now you can't see the guards, but you have to assume they're there. So we start with, uh, instead we're grenades, and then I go in with the flamethrower, right? Before you know it, the whole thing is a, a blazing hellhole. There's nothing alive. When we got inside, just heads and arms and torsos twisting and smoldering in the flames. Oh, God. I'll never forget the sounds they made. With helpless, dead eyes piled in a smoking heap of tangled limbs. Some nights I wake up screaming and I, and I can still smell them burning. Oh, hundreds of... Bootleg, my first aquatic prom Barbie dolls. No, they look so authentic. Uh, I, I, I meant. Uh, ah! ah! We'll be right back after this. Uh.